Hi there, I'm Clueless Mike, and you're watching Modeling for Advantage. So today we have another unboxing for you, and today we have Combat Patrol Chaos Demons. Now, it says Chaos Demons on the front cover, uh, but it's actually Corn Demons. There's nothing from the other Chaos Gods in here just corn, but Chaos Demons are a faction really close to my heart. If I pan upwards slightly, you'll see on all those shelves up there, I have a very large Chaos Demon army. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to opening this one. Let's see what we've got in store. Okay, let's get this bad boy open. I've already disposed of the cellophane off camera. I'm a professional and all. So let's get that open. Inside we have our booklet as always. Uh, these aren't particularly complex models, so I don't think it'd be much of a challenge putting these together, but the instructions for putting them together are as good as always. Uh, so it shows all those there, useless stat blocks on the back. Let's get rid of that. So then we have bases. Uh, so these look like 32 mil bases. I think blood letters have gone up to that size. I'm going to have to check mine in a minute and see what size mine are mounted on. I suspect mine are now on two small bases. Interesting. Uh, here we have the character. This is the Blood Master. Now I'm looking at this sprue here and I'm thinking to myself, is this him complete? So I'm just going to do a quick check. We've got two arms, a head, two legs and a body. Yes, yeah, so that is the entire Blood Master there. A uh, great big sword, but not a very big model, it seems. It, it looks quite big when you look at it. I've got one, um, but it does appear quite tiny on sprue. I wonder, wonder how much they retail that for normally, because that is very spindly. Didn't realise it was so little plastic-wise. Uh, then we have now these, different story here. These are flesh hounds, and these are massive. Um, most of my demon army is the old metal army, and these are the new plastic skulls, which are really nice. Um, and they're pretty big, chunky models, much bigger than um, like a standard Space Marine or something, much more bulky than that. Um, so there's two there, and I believe this box contains 10 of them, which is pretty cool. So let's see if we can find the sprues. Uh, so they come in two sets of five, and I suspect that means there are only five sculpts. Uh, so what have we got here? We've got one, two, three, four. Yeah, so that's the 10 of them. Let's see, doesn't look like there are any spare heads looking at them. Got one, two, three, four, five heads. Um, I'm hoping that you can mix and match the heads possibly between the different bodies to give you um, a slight variation in build. Let, let's say you can. I reckon you probably could with a, um, with a bit of modeling. If we have a close look here, these are two sets of heads at the top. Um, and it does look like you could probably get it done. Um, whether the body, the necks of the bodies meet up well enough, I think they might do. They all look to have a square socket on them. Um, so let's hope you can mix and match the heads on those models. Um, so your two sets of five um, will not look exactly the same. So we have another five there. So that's those all out there. Then we have here the Blood Crushers. I love these models. Um, I have some of the old metal ones, which were the same kind of like, they're exactly the same design as these, but in metal. And then I have some of the plastic ones as well, and they mix really nicely. Um, the plastic ones are a bit more dynamic, um, but these are really cool models. You get lots of different embellishments with the kit as well. Um, you also get in the kit, so it's a kit of three blood crushers or juggernauts of corn being ridden by um, blood letters if you use the old parlance. Um, but you get in the kit a standard bearer, a, mus a musician and a champion, or you can build any of those three models as standard um, just uh, juggernauts as well. So there's actually quite a lot of variations mixing and matching between those. You get various different head pieces and such. Um, you get kind of like different um, blades to go on the tops of the head. And they're all inter, um, intermingleable, intermatchable, that's not a word. Uh, so you can make them look quite different. The pose of the actual juggernauts you can't change, unless you're willing to cut them up a little bit. Um, but the riders on top and the embellishments and the head and such, you can swap out quite a lot. So these are reasonably easy to make in different models. And they really are quite striking models. They're really dynamic. Um, they're really nice, big, chunky models on the table. I'm a big fan of that kit. Really good. Uh, then we have the Blood Letters. Now, these are quite a venerable kit now. I'm, 
I couldn't tell you exactly when it was made. I reckon it must be at least 15 years old now. Um, and I'm a fan of it. I like the blood letters. I think they make really nice models. Um, you can swap their poses around quite a lot. Their arms and stuff you can move to do different poses. Their swords you can move around a little bit. Um, their heads are all swappable and each head is slightly different to the other ones. Um, they've got different spines on their backs and such. So your units won't look the same. Um, you can tell that they're quite an old kit because look how much space there is on the sprue there. There's massive spacing to stick your fingers through and such, which on a modern sprue that would be used up with more gubbins really. So they're the two sets of heads there. So how many have we got? Let's just check. Don't actually know how many comes in this box. It looks like there's 10 there, 10 there. So you get 20 blood letters in the box. I think that's really good. Here you go, you get different banner there, a nice big banner of blood, all your bodies, all the different swords. Um, do you get any spares? You don't get any spare swords, but as I said, you will use some with standard bearers. Um, you see you get two different banners you could use, uh, so they're really nice. There's the other set of those, and then lots of oval bases. Your juggernauts will go on these great big bases, and your flesh hounds will go on these smaller ones. That is it. There is a lot of plastic in there, though. I think that's a pretty good box. Um, with the new Demon Rules, which have just been released for 40k, um, this is actually a fairly decent um, start of a corn force. You've got two troop choices, because they have to come in units of 10. Um, two five-man blood them. Um, flesh hounds, really useful. Um, the... Um, juggernauts, they're not a bad unit, and the character, the Bloodmaster, he's probably the one that you may not use. Um, you can get him mounted on a chariot, which is better, or mounted on a juggernaut, which is also better. Um, so he's probably the part that's not that usable, but I suspect value-wise this works out pretty well, um, because other than that you'd be buying two Bloodletter boxes, two Fleshhound boxes, a juggernaut box, I think that would easily um, add up to more than this cost. So I think this is a pretty good start collecting, especially if you're into corn. If you're not into corn, this is obviously a pretty poor start collecting as there are none of the other gods represented. Um, but the way the codex works, um, you can happily intermingle the gods, but I think for a small force, the way the buffs from the characters take effect, you probably want to concentrate if you're starting out on one god to go for. And I think Corn is a nice, simple starting one, and also one of the best. It's pretty powerful. In combat, these things are nicely deadly, as Corn should be. So that is your Combat Patrol Chaos Demons focusing on Corn. Thanks for watching. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description, but a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you.